released by a Turkish news agency shows how the ground cracked after that 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit earlier this month. That fault line uh, can be seen through the epicenter of that earthquake running through a few fields. You're looking at it there very clearly. The disaster killed more than 42,000 people across Turkey and in Syria. And ever since those earthquakes hit, organizations have been trying to do what they can to help those grieving families with lost loved ones. Uh, thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. They're also trying to help the communities rebuild following the disaster. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan joining us now live from downtown Sacramento to tell us about some of those local efforts. Kristen. Well, Nikki and Eric, these musicians behind me are rehearsing for the Turkey and Syria benefit concert tonight here at the Sacramento Memorial Auditorium. You can hear them vocalizing as we speak. One performer telling me the concert will be recorded and sent to Turkey and Syria so they know that the world is with them. Just two weeks after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake killed tens of thousands of people in Turkey and Syria. The province in South Turkey experienced another devastating quake Monday evening, this one at a 6.4 magnitude. The Sacramento Interfaith Community and the City of Sacramento hoping this music at Sacramento Memorial Auditorium can help those communities heal. And music is an uh, amazing cure, I mean, especially in times of, of, of trauma and, um, and loss. And, it's, uh, it's the best cure. Ali Kila is the leader, violinist, and one of the soloists of Al Firdos Ensemble. Kila lived in Syria and learned how to sing there. Some of his friends are still there. The area of Turkey, which was hit by the earthquake, is has one of the um, largest concentration of refugees because it's near the border. So I have um, some friends from Syria who are who are actually living in that region and. And uh, one friend said that they, 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 they were okay, but they lost, they had lost friends, but, and uh, they, they moved out of that area. But um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, very close to the heart. The group will perform Syrian and Turkish tunes tonight, and every dollar from ticket sales will go toward helping as many families as they can with shelter, food, medical supplies, and hygiene kits to those impacted by the earthquakes through the Zakat Foundation of America. One effort hoping to make a difference through every note, while another through every ingredient. 35 sheets individually buttered. I was like, wow, if this person is making it for their family, there's a lot of love there too. And it, it's sad to see that, you know, there was a lot of people who were hurt and are gone. And so for those who are still here, they need a lot of strength and love. Sacramento State alumna Sabrina Aragon and fellow San Francisco Zion Church volunteers spreading that love to Turkey by making their traditional baklava and selling them here at Sacramento State. I did want to uh, try to do something small, at least to open the hearts towards people appreciating the culture while also sending funds at the same time. And that benefit concert will be taking place at 7.30 tonight. And if you don't have tickets, don't worry. You can always buy them at the box office. In downtown Sacramento, Kristen Vartan, Fox 40 News.